news just a couple days after being released by the New York Jets. Le'Veon Bell has found a new home, and it is one in which the rich get richer. Le'Veon Bell expected to sign with Kansas City per a report from Adam Schefter, the three-time Pro Bowler, two-time first all-team pro, all-pro, going to the reigning Super Bowl champs. Pete Prisco joins us now to talk about it, your initial reaction, and that fit. Well, for him, it made all the sense in the world to go to a team that's a contender. Uh, you want to try and win a Super Bowl. You want to be on a good team. If it came down between playing for the Dolphins or playing for the Chiefs, he picked the right team. The question for the Chiefs is, what's he have left? The guy hasn't done much the last couple of years. He sat out a season. He didn't do anything with the Jets. Uh, can he still put his foot in the ground, make all those great cuts he used to make when he was with the Steelers? Uh, and what's this do for your running back situation? So uh, he's capable of catching the football out of the backfield. We know that. This kind of feels like LaShawn McCoy number two for me uh, all over again. I, I just don't think it's a great addition to their team. I could be wrong, but I would have stayed with what I had if I were the Chiefs. So, Pete, uh, first of all, you mentioned the, the fact that Le'Veon Bell didn't do too much with the Jets. When you watched those games, did you see uh, a running back who had lost a significant step or was it more the fact that there was really very little talent surrounding him, a really rough offensive line there for two years, and a head coach who didn't seem all that interested in utilizing that skill set? Well, I think it was a combination of both, or all of the above. I think it was a combination of a bad offensive line. Uh, I also, Adam Gase never wanted him uh, and played to that. He didn't act like he wanted him. And lastly, I don't think Le'Veon Bell has the same oomph that he had when he was with Pittsburgh. I just don't see it. Uh, maybe a change of scenery will show it, but you would think all the money the Jets paid him would have been uh, reason enough to get him out there and get him showing that he was still a, a, an elite back. But he wasn't, uh, and he didn't play to that at all. So uh, I think it's a combination of all of them, but... You always got to wonder when a guy's 28, 29 years old, is he slowing down? Does it, does it all change when you get to be that age for a running back? So how does he fit now with the Chiefs? I know you said you're not sure that he does, but uh, obviously they have Clyde Edwards-Alaire, who, uh, who is a, a promising young running back for the team. Where does Le'Veon Bell slot in there? Well, I think he's going to be the backup, and he's going to take some of the carries away and you know, use him in some third down situations. But remember, this is a team uh, that's you know obviously pass first, and that's what they want to do. Um, so I don't know how many carries he's going to get. I think they'll use him mostly in the passing game. Uh, they, they are a team that wants to throw the football around, and lately they haven't thrown it around as well as they've done in the past. I think that's something that's of concern as well, which might be why uh, they brought in Bell as well. Remember, uh, Damian Williams wasn't there. He decided to opt out. He didn't play. And they picked him up off the scrap heap, too. And he came in and helped them win a Super Bowl. And some people say he should have been the Super Bowl MVP. I just don't believe in aging running backs. I don't think it's a big money deal. There's a lot of incentives in it. He probably has no chance to reach those if Clyde Edwards-Hilaire plays. So uh, it's, it probably can be a decent situation for the Chiefs. It's just don't expect to see Le'Veon Bell that you used to see when he was with the Steelers. You feel like Andy Reid will, will look to utilize him in creative ways, though? Yeah, and they get too creative sometimes. Uh, that's one of my criticisms of the Chiefs lately, and I love their creativity, but sometimes you go over the top with it, uh, and you forget that you have Patrick Mahomes playing quarterback and just let him play quarterback. Uh, so, yeah, I do think that they'll use him in creative ways. Remember, Eric Bieniemy, the offensive coordinator, is a former running back. He knows how to catch the ball. He knew how to catch the ball out of the backfield. He understands what that means to an offense. And as teams start playing more and more zone coverage against Patrick Mahomes and making him be patient, he's got to start taking those check downs to the right and to the left and dumping it down to the backs. And I think Bell can do that. Again, though, I'm going back to what I said before. I just don't think he's going to be the Bell that we saw with the Steelers. Le'Veon Bell, released from the worst team in the NFL, maybe going to the best. He is a new, a new member of the Kansas City Chiefs. Pete Prisco, thanks as always for the time. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.